Jim Callis is the executive editor of Baseball America. He joins us on the Jeff Blair Show. Jim, thanks so much for doing this. Oh, yeah, no problem. Glad, glad to be here, Jeff. And I, I guess we even have uh, breaking, uh, breaking Blue Jays draft news to discuss. Breaking Blue Jays draft news, according to Alex, according to our Mike Wilner, after uh, chatting to Alex Anthopoulos, the uh, Blue Jays do not expect to sign Phil Bickford. Uh, some speculation it may be a physical issue. Um, uh, well, I'm not sure. You know, and that stuff's sometimes harder to, to come out because if it is, you know, Bickford's going to, you know, he'd go to Cal State Fullerton, and, and people are sometimes you know, even a little bit more hesitant to talk about details with high school players than they sure. are about a, a college junior. Um, I haven't heard anything like that. Um, you know, that, that, that's perhaps uh, the case, um, because I think, uh, I'll put it this way, if there was a fiscal issue, I think similar to what happened with the Marlins and their supplemental first-round pick, Matt Crook, who's another high school pitcher, <clears throat> Crook wasn't going to sign for 40% of his pick value. You know, baseball rules state now with the draft, if a guy fails a physical, you have to offer that player 40% of his pick value um, or else he becomes a free agent and you wouldn't get a compensation pick in next year's draft. And, and if hypothetically Bickford did fail a physical, the Blue Jays would have to offer him $1.2 million, uh, to to or else he'd become a free agent and they would lose the pick, and I don't think he'd – I mean, I think they would do that because I don't think Phil Bickford would sign for $1.2 million. but I haven't heard that. I mean, mm-hmm. it could just be, you know, negotiations are kind of at a standstill. There was talk before the draft uh, that Bickford was going to take $4.25 million, or at least that was his asking price. I don't think it would take that much necessarily to sign him. Um, I'd be surprised if he's healthy that he would turn down $2.9 million. Um, you know, I mean, it's hard to go much higher than 10th in the draft, although it's possibly could go to Cal State Fullerton. And, and I'm not saying this is the case either, Jeff. You know, they, some teams, you don't have to take a physical before the deadline. Right. You, you could take the physical after the deadline, and if the team doesn't, look, doesn't like what they see, they could void the contract at that point. The one problem with doing the physical after the deadline is there's no wiggle room to renegotiate. If the team doesn't like something, you can't alter the deal. The deal's locked in, and it's either take it or leave it. And it's possible, and again, I'm just speculating here uh, with, with these recent comments by Alex Anthopoulos, that perhaps a lot of teams will tell players, we want you in to take a physical by Wednesday because we want two days to get it done so we can get it done in advance. And it's possible that if you're hearing physical issue, maybe he didn't consent to having the physical done yet, and the Blue Jays are saying, well, we won't have enough time. All this said, and I know I've rambled on here, all this said, we went through this last year with the Marlins and Andrew Heaney, the ninth overall pick, where two or three days before the deadline, both the agent and the team said, he's not signing, we can't get him here in time to do the physical, even if we come to an agreement, and lo and behold, Andrew Heaney signed on the deadline. So I would characterize this latest report as... As interesting, and I don't think the Blue Jays are trying to. Man, when Alex Antopoulos said that, I'm not saying he's being insincere, but mm-hmm. I would say nothing's nothing's written in stone. Uh, so we we we'll see. Yeah, all's fair in love and negotiating. And we saw, you know, I mean, we saw though a couple of years ago, Tyler Beatty didn't sign, and you know, and then the Blue Jays offered him a ton of money, and he turned it down, and he may actually get more money in next year's draft if he he's going to be a pretty high pick out of Vanderbilt, but. Well, at least in that one, you know, and you know, I'm sure more details will come out about Bickford, you know, either way with what happens. But with Beatty, it's hard to fault the Blue Jays because, you know, while they didn't necessarily meet what it was going to take to sign Beatty, it wasn't like they were trying to be cheap with him, cheap mm-hmm. with him either. 